On today's stream, I watched the creepiest videos about ghost spotting and paranormal activity that I could find on YouTube. I was just reacting to these, giving my takes on whether or not I thought they seemed convincing or not. And honestly, some of these things were hard to explain. And others were just downright creepy, whether they were fake or not. And then to top that all off, we had our own weird little ghost experience in this video as well. I'm not even joking. The video about ghosts had ghosts in it. It was really weird. So if you do enjoy and you don't want me to be haunted, please feel free to subscribe. It's only with your subscription that the ghosts can be repelled away and I'll be safe forever. Also, all future ghost type content will be uploaded to this channel. So you also could subscribe so you don't miss streams whenever they get uploaded. Either way, I hope you enjoy. Welcome to Bizarre Hub. I mean, Bob. I already forgot the name. Welcome to Bizarre Bob. Sorry, I'm using light mode. It lights my face very well. Oh for, God, it's been so many months. Can I just be freed? I miss my family. Nope. Sorry. Thank you, Soph. Appreciate the sub. Either way, I want to watch this one because it... Oh, wait, I, I'm covering this one. I want to watch this one. The one that says, it comes alive. That thumbnail really... It's jumping out to me. However, scary comp version 62 also jumps out to me. Either way, it says don't watch alone, a lot of them, uh, but we're together. There's lots of us. We're all ganged up, so I think this will be fine. Let's watch the first scary video I can find. It comes alive. Is it the bite of 87? It may well be. We'll have to find out. An indoor home security camera captures something pretty creepy on footage. Not much info was given on this video, but it still speaks for itself. A child. There's eight. There's fucking eight parts. This video. Are you, are you insane? I'm very intrigued. So either way, creepy child. Also, um, I'm gonna because it gets a little bit distracting. We're gonna turn the. Um... Actually, no, we'll leave it for a second. Lucy, thank you for the prime. Was walking through a months. kitchen. Please give me a film recommendation, at... Jack Manifold. Uh, Shutter Island. It's my favorite film of all time. It's really, really good. It's something. What happens next is beyond strange. Take a look. It's 100 bits. Jackie Backy, I missed you. Jackie Backy? As in tobacco? Or you think I smoke? You think I smoke evil, evil cigarettes? Is that what you think? Hey Jack, we Get recently your head out lost your ass. our family cat and your oh, streams really have sad. really been helping Sorry. me less than three. Oh, well, I'm glad I'm glad I could help. Thank you so much, Niffin. Really appreciate the sub. Seven months can't stop the manifold gun. <laughs> that is a bit weird. That is a bit weird. Let's, let's fucking put that back. That's weird. That is a bit weird. She fucking fought the air for a second. That is a bit odd. 16 months of prime manifold chat. Probably because you got this creepy fucking doll sat right here. What is this? It's like Bill's cursed Teletubby. Look at that. No wonder you got spirits in your damn home. Keeping creepy. This is what I never understand. People will be people be keeping creepy dolls in their home, and then then when ghosts appear, they'll be like, "I don't know what could have caused this." I'm like, "Bro, the strange anthropomorphic figure that you keep in plush form, kill it. It make it. Oh, honestly, like you know Rihanna. You know you know Sir Rihanna. She has she has like a a, a fucking haunted nun doll, and it's like." If anything weird ever happens, I'm like, bro, this is your fault. Either way. The child, without warning, stops in their tracks and stares at something you look very as though someone were blocking today, their Jack. path. Thank you. I appreciate it. They that. then have a conversation with who hey. or whatever it was that they were seeing. Thanks. Now, the possibility of this being a child with an overactive imagination isn't ruled out. The possibility of this path. Sorry. They then have a conversation with who or whatever it was that they were seeing. Now, the possibility of this being a child with an overactive imagination isn't ruled out, but the way in which they interact with this supposed imaginary friend is what frightens the mother of this child. 
It's, I must admit, either, 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 you've got like a really, really like, you've got a talented actor on your hands, like this kid's gonna go far, or this is actually creepy, because like, I must admit, for a young child, to act as if something's being pulled out of their hands so convincingly to like Simple lose their doubt. balance and shit. But the way in which they interact that is with weird. the supposed imaginary friend is what frightens the mother of this child. Rosie B, the mother in question, thinks that this may have been a ghost or some otherworldly entity that was forcefully trying to take away her daughter's toys. It is but weird. Even more unsettling. Kids can be weird, but admittedly, seeing her like stagger around like that is is like bizarre settling is the fact that when rosie asked her daughter as to who she was talking to she responded by saying that it was a little girl and a little boy oh it's two of them overall though this video is quite strange the mother has yet to find out the history of her home as she thinks this might explain this odd occurrence but until then this video remains a mystery because like that or she's got perfect like boxing form but until then like leading video, leading look, look at that she's like She's sideways on, she's leading with her fucking hand. She looks like she's gonna throw a mean jab, you know what I mean? Take the box out of her hand, put a boxing glove on that in Photoshop. That was like a mean jab coming from that kid. This is just the plot of Fight Club, yeah, exactly. She's throwing fucking hands, you know? Remains a mystery. It is weird. It is definitely, that is weird. On May 30th of 2016, a single car act vehicle lost control Ooh. on a Brazilian highway known as BR-262. The driver of this vehicle lost control of his wheel, causing him to veer off the road and crash his car. Oh, sorry. Unfortunately, he did not survive this accident. Well, yeah, Upon hearing like about this, a TV news crew was sent out to report this incident. They arrived on the scene and began to report. But after filming the incident and showing it to audiences, people noticed that something very strange appeared in the footage. The following is the video that was taken. Um parente das vítimas que seguia em outro veículo viu pelo retrovisor o momento em que a caminhonete capotou. A suspeita é que a motorista tenha tentado desviar de um animal que cruzou a pista. No local aonde a mato em volta da That was a bit weird. That was strange. That is a bit weird. Oh. The way it's like head like spins around. That is weird. Do that again. Ugh. Oh, it looks like maybe smoke, though. I, I saw it as like a head, like a weird, like amalgamated head, but now I'm like... Upon zooming in, a face can be seen inside oh. the car. It appears out of thin air and almost seems to be looking directly at the camera. I'm not sure if Viewers it's a face or not. This may have been the ghost of the driver of this vehicle, while others think that this may have been something else entirely. But as always... I'll let you be the judge as to whether or not something It looks a little bit like a smoke plume. It seems to be looking directly at the camera. But it's very visible. It's Viewers very weird. believe that this may have been the ghost of the driver of this vehicle, while others think that this may have been something else entirely. Like smoke, I see. But as always, I'll let you be the judge as to whether or not something supernatural was caught. I don't what fucking exactly know, bro. What do you think I am? A supernatural- the fucking supernatural sergeant? Like, I don't- I don't have the jurisdiction to, like, determine whether or not I was supernatural. It just looked weird, man. Bro's like, oh, I'll let you decide. I don't fuck you. you got qualifications in this shit? I'm Emma. just here to be scared. Jeff, someone put in chat Jeff the killer. Let me just, let me just show you something real quick. Cause this, this, this shit had me freaking howling and laughing. Basically like my, you know, grabbing at my damn sides cause of how funny it was. Hold on a second. Let me just, uh. Someone said Jeff the killer in chat. Completely reminded me of this. I found this new like meme trend. I think it's really funny. This, I think this is really funny. <laughs> it's just a cute anime girl, guys. Guys, it's just a girl from anime. It's just anime. But <laughs> I saw a couple of these recently, like where if you squint your eyes, they're creepy pastas. But if you don't, they're just like anime girls. But you squint, all of a sudden it's fucking Jeff the Killer. And I thought it was so funny. This shit had me howling when I first saw it. I love stuff like that. I love little things like that. Either way. Thanks everyone for stopping by the way. BevNet TV, 
Papa, Fallen uh, Icarus, uh, Captain and Habit, thank you all so much for the subs. It really, really does mean a lot. Sorry, I, I've kind of, I'm going to mute the alerts for a bit because it's very distracting while I'm trying to listen to the things. Uh, but your names will pop up and I do greatly appreciate it, seriously. And of course, you don't have to watch any ads, which is a pretty big bonus, I like to think. Pretty big. Pretty tremendously large. Okay, folks. I'm going to drink As some As with tango. most videos, this next one has little to no information. But with or without it, the video is still pretty spooky. All right. It's late at night, somewhere in Chile, when a man captures footage of something that occurs right in front of him as he lays in bed. This is his video. What is it, like sheets? Sounds. It looks like he just kicked his little feet. I thought there were like little flies on his iPad. I realized it's just like the screen glare. I thought it was like gross little flies buzzing around his iPad. That weirded me out. <laughs> the fucking Autobots background. That shit goes hard. Cat's going, think of the two one. Luna, think of the two one. Well, the door just opens a bit. Is that it? Ooh. It is weird that it keeps going. Uh, it is. Bro in the face of a door opening itself went come out motherfucker and the door opened. That is a bit weird. That is weird. <sighs> Bro said come out motherfucker and the, the motherfucker came out. Alright, like full I playing around, you know? <laughs> Who's in there? Who goes there? So if evil spirit goes there, evil spirit sent from hell. Is that in a hotel? I don't know. Alright, no one in the, the shower. An evil spirit from the sewer? That was, that's more realistic. Why is the music picking up? Is something else gonna happen? Nope. It's 3 in the morning when all this happens. It is 3 in the morning. That's the witching hour, guys. The, that's the evil hour. You ever heard like in the Roald Dahl books, like for some reason 3 a.m. is like the scary hour? That's not okay. Doobie doo, thank you for the prime by the way. That, guys, that is the, the evil fucking hour. The evil hour, you know what I'm saying? The door opens just a few inches before fully opening after being told hey, to- Hey, at the end of the day, a few inches is a lot though. If my door was to suddenly come open even one inch, I think I'd be perfectly satisfied in, in terms of like how scared I was. I think it's perfectly satisfactory for it even to go one inch, never mind a few. I think actually he's maybe lucky that the door opened a few so it was more obvious, you know, that he was being haunted, actually. Because I think like as much as one inch would be perfectly sufficient, I I'll, I'll admit that it's harder to notice, you know? But, uh, and equally, you wouldn't want the door opening, say, 8 to 10 inches, because then the ghost could even enter the room you're in, which would be even scarier. Re realistically, you want it, you know, it's kind of comfortably within the 3 to 4 inch range. Is what I'm saying. Do so by the man. It happens almost immediately, as though whatever was behind this door was listening attentively. The man then goes inside, but finds no one in there. Naturally, he was shaken to his core upon realizing that something he paranormal had occurred. The man believes this, as do most viewers of the video. I do not understand why he's like weird transition images are just like pictures of cameras as if we, we don't understand the device, like the, the, the alien device they've captured this footage on. Of course, you be the judge as to whether or not that's the case. Was the door opening on its own something paranormal or was it something else?
it, it, it was pretty creepy. I'll give it that. But equally, if it's an old room, then sometimes, like, the house shifting or, like, a, a draft will open a door. You know what I mean? And if he, if that door does that frequently, then, you know, when he says come out, he could have, like, timed him saying come out, motherfucker, with when he knew the door was eventually going to, you know, really swing. But, you know. The um. following video comes from Simon Newcomb, who states that a friend of his daughter's was walking through a wooded area that is believed to be extremely haunted. Wismans Woods is a forest in England where many people have reported paranormal it look, encounters. It looks creepy as fuck. That's a creepy wood. Bro went to like like bro went to like a witch's fucking hideout. Evil green witches live here. Only goblins and evil green witches live here. No wonder he found a ghoul. You know, no wonder he found like an evil spirit. Like, obviously. Look at- look at that! Creepy- the creepiest wood in the world. No fucking wonder. Forest in England, where many people have reported paranormal encounters. From small, shadowy figures that lurk behind trees. I thought you said from smosh. From smosh. Listen to that again. Reported paranormal encounters. From small, shadowy- <laughs> From smosh. They found smosh in the woods! Anthony Padilla and Ian Ian were out in the woods recording Food Fight 9. We figures that lurk behind trees to the infamous hellhounds that are set to come out at night. Which hellhounds? Place of unusual activity. It is also said. Why is that tree pointing? Why has it got like a weird finger? Why does it look like it's about to snap its fucking fingers, you know? That pagan rituals have taken place here. Some of which have included sacrifices. Oh, that's not. I mean, One evening, that's more believable, as a man and two children explore Winston's woods, something very unsettling is caught on camera. This is what was captured. Be sure to look closely for this one, as it happens real fast. All right, all right, eyes peeled, everybody. Chat, keep your eyes open. Do you, chat if you see it. It is pissing it down. These two are doing my head in. Naughty word, actually. Don't say that. He said piss, guys. First off, good kids. He's raised them well. It's getting dark. Why, Mum? Well, I have no idea where the dog is. I want to go home. Oh, I wasn't looking. I was, wa I was watching them. What the fuck am I watching? What have you just shown me? Wait, put that back. Little did he know. That a small shadowy figure was caught in the background. It stands in place for a couple. Oh. Let me watch it in real time. Hold on. It's getting dark. Oh, that is a bit weird, actually. Now, I, now I've seen it. That's odd. That is a bit odd. It's getting dark. Animals do live in the woods, though. Animals do live in the woods. Plus, if Smosh is known to be there, it could be Ian, you know? Just having a look to see who's popped by. No it is a little bit... It is a bit weird. Like, I'll give it that. It, it's a weird-looking creature. Like, I can't make out what that could be if it isn't, like, something... You know, but... It, it, it's 100% well, like... Know? That a small a shadowy figure creature. was caught in the background. That's a gremlin. It stands in place for a couple of seconds Peter Kane, before ducking down. Head the of the trunk. gremlin society would know that's it a gremlin. It recedes away as though it saw the camera and didn't want to be seen. It is almost similar to an animal's reaction when it spots a person nearby. Bro even said it's kind of similar to how an animal, often found in woods, would react to this. But we think it's a ghost. Yet Simon doubts that it's an animal, and instead believes that it might be a spirit that haunts this forest. Whoever, or whatever this was, is a mystery. It is. But unfortunately, it seems we won't know for sure what this was until more info is given. Yeah, no true. For real. It was during a podcast that one of the hosts had shared some chilling photos that were submitted to him by a viewer. It goes without saying, but what was captured in one of these images has left many viewers disturbed. Oh. The person who submitted the oh, photo no. states that the reason they took them was because they felt like they were being watched. Oh, okay. That's They were fun. lying in bed when all of a sudden they get the strangest feeling. For some Bro! Bro had a fucking te Like a five second long shot of their dogs. 
<laughs> this picture left viewers disturbed. <laughs> and it's just like a fucking pair of carpet grippers, you know? And I was like, these, the viewers were shocked when they saw those dogs off the leash. In bed, when all of a sudden, they get the strangest feeling. There's like a shadowy figure licking on them dogs. Like he, he like ran it through Photoshop and you could see like the, the silhouette of a shadow and a big long tongue that was just licking at the soles of his feet. And he's like, I knew I could feel someone tickling them. For some reason, they can't help but feel that someone is outside their room, standing in the doorway and looking at them. No one else was inside the house except them. Feeling very spooked, they slowly take out <laughs> their phone. phone and begin to take various photos of the passageway outside the room. What they captured has left them shook. These are their they photos. They were shook AF. They were literally shook. Alright. 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 Ooh! Ooh, that one is creepy. What the fuck? Wait, let's what, look at all those again. That one is fucking creepy. Holy shit. Did I just say someone that looks like you? Oh, fuck you. Fuck you, it has short hair. So it's a boy with short hair. And everyone's like, dude, it's literally you. You're haunting this guy. Young Sheldon is haunting this guy. Fuck you. Young Sheldon's actually quite funny. Not fuck you to the Young Sheldon comment. That's funny. However, this, I'm not on board. Hello, sons. Thank you for the nine months. Appreciate it. Fuck you, man. It's not me. I wouldn't haunt anyone. If I was to haunt someone, I'd, I'd haunt them with pleasantries, you know? I'd haunt them with good humor and wit. That's fucking creepy, bro. In the distance, there appears to be a face peeking at the person inside the room. It wasn't until zooming in on the photo that the person who took it saw the mysterious figure. Although pretty creepy, they're somewhat glad that they caught this as it reassures them that well, they're not losing their mind and that there is in fact something very strange going on inside their house. Now it's worth mentioning that the person who submitted these photos states that he played with the Ouija board prior to this incident and believes it's the reason why strange things are happening. But what do you think? Did this person- Ouija boards scare me a bit. I refuse to ever play with one ever in my life. Uh, and the honest reason is, I know some people who are very big believers in the whole uh, paranormal and stuff. Uh, and, you know, they've, they've never once kind of... They've always been like, there's nothing to be scared of. Ghosts can't hurt you. They can't really interact with you. If you're someone who has the gift of seeing them, they're not going to hurt you or anything. They're just like, they, you know, it's just kind of annoying. Uh, uh, but absolutely every single one of them has been like, don't touch Ouija boards. And they've been really adamant about it to, to, with an almost scary level of conviction. So I, um, I refuse to, to touch one. I, the closest thing I ever done to using one was uh, when I did the ghost video with uh, Tubbo. We were supposed to hold a fake seance at the end to uh, end the video. But instead of a fake seance, the woman did a real seance and used a Ouija board as like an anchoring point. And I, I didn't quite like that, I'll be honest actually capture something paranormal. But the, the, the seance lady was there and she closed the seance down and stuff. Even though I did stand up prior to closing it and she was like, please come back, we need to end this. I was like, wait, this isn't like a fake seance like we planned? She's like, no, it's real. And I was like, what do you mean? Why would you start a real seance? If you watch that video, it's, it's on my main channel. If you watch that video, like right at the end, I, you can see me get very uncomfortable. Cause I, I like we reveal the prank during the, what I believe to be a fake seance. And then like, I stand up and go to do the outro, and she's like, no, sit back down, this is a real seance. I'm like, what the fuck? And she's like, yeah, we need to close. Uh, and I just, like, it, I go so uncomfortable for the last, like, 10 seconds of the video. Because, like, I fucking genuinely didn't like, I was very uncomfortable. Was something else captured? If you caught something creepy on camera, or I if there's any ghost videos you'd like me to check out and include in the next compilation, you can send them over to scaryvideos444 at gmail.com. Annie, thank you for the five good subs. Appreciate it. Let's get back to the video. All right, another video. Two friends are goofing off inside a house when they capture something pretty creepy on camera. 
One of the friends appears to be doing an online challenge. Yay, don't F with the boards I own like three all gifted as they had vibes I'd be able to work with them supply apparently I have something that screams I commune with the dead yet when telemarketers ring for my mum I tell them they need a OEG board. What? <laughs> yeah, don't fuck with the boards. I own like three all gifted as they had vibes. I'd be able to work with them safely. Apparently, I have something that screams I commune with the dead. Y yeah, when they tell them... <sighs> there's no punctuation in the sentence. I'm trying to make sense of it. I, I think there's a dead mum joke in there, for which I apologize. Thank you for the 22 months. Yeah. However, what happens moments later leaves them both terrified. Watch. The ironing board falls. Oh, no, the door opens. <laughs> right, do it again, because I'm filming this time. No, go on. Right, right, yeah, yeah. Go on, lads! You got left? There's only two left, so it's... Right, well, yeah, just do two there. Oh, uh, yeah, this is, uh... I'm gonna... We're gonna some and then drink... Well, it's not that cold, it's close to my but... There's only two, so... Uh... It's fizzy, it should work. <laughs> oh. Working? No. Yippee, two yeah, months. Sure, go on, give it a bit. Give it a bit. I think it was two months. What's it? No, no, no. no. <laughs> what, what? <laughs> what? What's up? Dude, 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 dude. What, what? Dude. What? Look. What? Look. What? Look, let me out, let me out, let me no. out, let me out. A rattling sound can be heard inside the other room. That, you know what? That's one of the only fur, like, ones that I've ever really believed because that let me out felt very real. That that felt real. That, that, that was a real scared man. That felt real as fuck. Before the door opens and things fall on their own. Not much else is known about the video, so it's hard to be- The ironing board falling is a bit weird. Because I was like, I thought that was all, the, all that was going to happen. I'm like, yeah, maybe it was just balanced poorly. But the door going and then the iron board falling is a bit sure odd. if it's real or not. But regardless, the reaction appears to be genuine. That's what I'm saying. Had they captured something paranormal or not? Interesting. Interesting. Did seem very real. The following though. video comes from a man named Jacob who lives in a house Hello, Jacob. that he recently inherited from his grandmother. The following comes from a man named Jacob who lives in a house. Thank you, Jacob. On to number one. I like sometimes when he just kind of states the obvious. Jacob isn't too sure if he wants the house as it's out of shape and requires a lot of fixing. But after the following night, it seems that he's made up his mind. It's late. What the fuck? That's the thing from the thumbnail. That is fucking horrific. I'd be rid of that instantly. Why would your grandma have that almost fucking human-sized jester doll? That's freaky as fuck. At night, when Jacob wakes up to a noise inside his bedroom, this is what he caught. Oh, yep. I wouldn't have it in me to have my eyes off of that big creepy doll though. Like, even if the closet was making noises, I couldn't take my eyes off of that fucking big doll. Also, why are you opening it? Seems fine. Okay. A knocking sound. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's cre it's a, it's a creepy video. It's a cool video. It's way too good to be true, dude. That that shit is like that that's like nah nah I'm sorry. That 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 shit's way too good to be true. Like no way you have a doll that fucking creepy looking that's also haunted. You know what I mean? Nah. Can be heard that's too good to be fucking true. However. That fucking thing, of course it's haunted. And the way it like per no. I don't uh, no. know. Too but easily faked. Wait like there's no footage of it actually moving, right? It's way too it's easily later after faked. Checking. 
Loud banging can be heard from the other side of the room. Clearly, Jacob was spooked out of his mind. Yet, something else happened that Jacob didn't realize until watching this video. At the start of the clip, the clown doll on top of the drawer can be seen staring at the bed. But then later, it is seen staring at the door. Ever since seeing this, Jacob has moved the doll downstairs to the living room. He states that it came alive that night and is glad that he caught evidence of it. It is fucking creepy to be fair though. It's, it, Although it's almost like cool creepy where it's like so creepy that it's like that's sick that you found creepy. something that creepy. This looking. video is still a mystery. But thanks to this incident, Jacob has made up his mind on whether or not he should keep the house. All in all, what happened that night has left him beyond terrified. Yeah, I wouldn't want to live there either to be fair. There's like a wardrobe door open there and I want to close it. I just, I just, after I've seen a creepy clown doll look at a boy, I just, you know, give me a second. I just want to go close that. Give me like two secs. Hold on. It's just, it, it's a little bit on, I looked over and I'm like, I, I thought I spotted something. Uh, and now I want this closed and never open ever again. Nice. I closed it. I ain't no way I'm looking in fucking open closets after seeing that. No way. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Ain't no fucking way. Oh, that's the wrong one. Sorry, my bad. There we are. Right. Let's move on to number one. The final creepy clip. This last video- Not two media. sex as in like sex. Not as in like having sex as in like seconds. I did an abbreviation. Maybe if you were cool, all right? Maybe if you were cool like me, you'd know that. But instead, you've been dirty-minded, rude sinners, rude and sinful, you know. I stick for Allah. I think I, I learned that phrase recently. Arabic people, correct me if I said that wrong. Stick for Allah, right? Did I do that right? I don't know. Maybe I'm right. Someone will let me know. And it shows a woman walking late at night. In it, she appears to be scared as she constantly looks over her shoulder. You said it right. Way! I love learning things. It means shame. I'm shaming you for speaking of sex sinfully. It seems that she might be seeing things considering that it's dark outside. But then, all of a sudden, something is captured that seems to suggest otherwise. This is what was caught. Oh. She's running away from dogs. Initially, the woman looks at something that doesn't appear to be there. But then, seconds later, the figure of a man appears out of nowhere. It shows That's up weird. exactly where the woman was initially looking. Viewers believe that a ghost had been caught on camera. Yet some believe that this was an actual person who for some reason couldn't be picked up by the camera at first. Whether also, it was or not, this the, also like night vision is a bit shit. To be fair, it could be like the material on camera, of the coat he's wearing yet or some, some shit. some believe that this was an actual person who for some reason couldn't be picked up by the camera at first. Because the thing is like, first, it could be compression too. Because watch. Because you can see the figure walking for quite a while. <laughs> Like you can see him the whole time. There he is. Look, there he is. Here. No, you can see him the In whole time. Month. Yeah, the camera just doesn't pick him up well. It just blurs because of what I assume is compression. It definitely looks like it looks creepy. It's a it's a cool effect, but I think just because he's it's a dark it's dark and night vision isn't very good. It's it's just like you know. Blur because of like shit frame rate. Mode, Initially, so, yeah. the woman looks at something that doesn't appear. To I think we managed to debunk that one. I really didn't think I took an expert. I think we've debunked that one pretty easily. There. You can but see then, him the whole time. Seconds later, the figure of a man appears out of nowhere. It shows up exactly where the woman was initially looking. Viewers believe that a ghost had been caught on camera. Yet some believe that this was an actual person. I like this video less now though, because like now it's not a woman like scared of a ghost. Now, even though that would be scary, there's, there, as people say, there's generally this idea that ghosts can't really harm you, you know, and like, it, it's kind of cool that like, uh, like you know, it's not cool, but like, now it's just a woman being stalked by a creepy guy, 
And that's kind of it. And I just kind of feel bad for her. You know what I mean? Like, this isn't, like, now, like, a, a ghost thing. And, like, it's, like, kind of, like, weird and paranormal. It's just, like, actually, like, sad. You know? Who, for some reason, couldn't be picked up by the camera at first. Whether ghost or not, this encounter is pretty terrifying. It is, who, yeah. Or whatever this was, just creepily stands there, looking at the woman. But as always, what are your thoughts on this? The, it's a weird, creepy man. It's fucking horrible. I don't like that video. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoy. Until next time. No worries, man. I appreciate it. I did enjoy. All right, that's that one done. I also want to watch uh, this one. The one that just says, nope. Even though I do get the... Oh, no. Those kids just look similar. They're not the same. However, they, they, they're a fucking streamer in the making. Look at them. They got that fucking... They got a lion up there. They got that blue yeti. I got that blue yeti right here. You know? Look at that, that streamer setup. This one looks this one looks creepy. This one looks like good creepy. I want to watch this one. Jack, please no. No more? Did you not read the title of the stream? Watching the scariest ghost videos on YouTube? This is literally what we're- This is the whole point of the stream. I like stuff like this. Your blue yeti is cute. It's not mine. I, I'm not at my setup right now, but thank you. I changed the cat ear headphones here as well. I, I found my mother and her baby and, are alone at home when something while. very unsettling is caught on camera. According to the mother, she has no words for this terrifying encounter. The mother writes, I thought I was hearing things at first, but then my back door motion detector went off. That's when I knew it was real. Okay. She further adds that only she and her child live alone in this house. So whatever was caught on camera had to be someone or something else. If no other child lives here, then who or what Creepy was silhouette. captured? This is what was caught. All right, show me. All right, weird noise. Ooh, that is creepy. That's creepy noise, I'll give you that. It did sound like a stock bit of audio though. I sounded like stock creepy little boy laugh. Unless I see anything visual, I'm convinced this is edited. Out of nowhere, a child's giggle is heard inside the house. Oh no. But even more creepy is the fact that her baby was already looking at the direction from where the laugh had come from. Yeah, the baby is thinking like... it was just in her head. She turns away from the source of the voice, seeming less scared. With the suddenly, baby, the sound of running footsteps is heard. It is at this point that she begins to realize that maybe someone or something is inside her house. I don't know. The, 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 like, part of me thinks this is edited, but the reactions are pretty real. You know what I mean? Like, like it the reactions point, seem pretty real, but whether the, like different audio has been put in or something, I don't know. It's definitely she weird. Begins to realize uh, uh, like the footsteps sound like fucking when Foxy like runs after you in FNAF. You know, like. I don't know. That maybe someone or something is inside her house. They could just be acting. It was only after the motion detector went off that she quickly fled away from the scene. As we already know, there shouldn't be another child in the home. Yet, a kid's voice is heard inside. The mom further mentions that she looked around the house as one of her thoughts was that a kid had broken into her home. But after searching all over the place, there was no trace of anyone there. Of course, it's not certain if a ghost or an entity was caught on camera, but until more info is given, the question still remains: just who? It seems a, a little bit edited to me. I don't know. I'm not too sold by that one. I'm not particularly scared of it. A family in Mexico has been experiencing paranormal activity, from hearing random knocks on their door and opening it to find. Can I just say something? Every single like, I I, I would hate to like. Be in a slightly, like, supposedly haunted place in Mexico. 
every single like Mexican like bedroom I've seen, whenever these videos are from Mexico, are always like they're really creepy like old fashioned like wooden like furniture rooms, and I feel like they just come off way more creepy. I don't know what it is. I just I, I find the Mexican bedrooms are always the creepiest. Like, me Mexican, like, bedrooms, like, the, the way they're furnished, I don't know what it is. I, I don't know if it's the whole of Mexico, or I just specifically always see creepy Mexican videos, but, like, every fucking time, bro. I know one there. To seeing things inside their house move on their own, the family can help but think that something very sinister is haunting them. It's a bit weird. Now, for some reason, these odd occurrences that, that did didn't move. happen until one day they heard a random knock on their door. Fucking hell, that why... The door is to my right as well, and he played that specifically in the right ear. Fucking evil choice from the editor. Fuck you. All right. First and foremost, fucking 3D knock. It the the catch is just, it's giving haunted. That's. Ever since then, that's something very. Si Why is Kevin McLeod n noted? When did he use Kevin McLeod Mr. music? Is haunting them. Kevin McLeod is like monkeys. Like, let me play some Kevin McLeod real quick. I'll just play you a Kevin McLeod song. Why would he be using this in the video? Yeah, he's credited in the description. I don't know of Kevin McLeod ever making anything that isn't along this sort of like vibe. Yeah, you know, like scheming. It's all kind of like... I, I don't remember hearing any Kevin McLeod, but we'll see, I guess. Now, for some reason, these odd occurrences didn't happen until one day they heard a random knock on their door. Ever since then... They get me this time, fucker. ...late at night to strange noises and other creepy occurrences that seemingly don't stop unless they are recognized. What? Given how often this occurs, the family has started recording these incidents. After being woken up once again by strange noises, a family member begins to record and captures the following. This is what they caught. What? The, the kid farting? Las... Like the, the sheets bubbled as if he did like a, a, a fucking fart. Porque dice que se escuchan ruidos en el cuarto. Mi esposo y mi niña están dormidos. Y vamos a ir a ver qué se escucha en el otro cuarto. No hay nadie. Solamente estamos mi hermana, mi hija, mi esposo y 3 a.m. again. I must admit, 3 a.m. is the time. The problem is, thank you. Very clever. Yeah, you, you really thought. Clever. You failed, but thank you. No, um, I, the thing is with 3 a.m., right, 3 a.m. has always been, like, the witching hour in literature and stuff, but I feel like since it became, like, a YouTube trend, you know, to do, like, the, the at 3 a.m. videos, I just, like, I don't trust it so much anymore. Oh, I can finally, like, hear my voice, but that's so much better. I forgot I can plug the fucking headphones, like, into the, um, into the mic and I can hear audio feedback. Give me two seconds, let me just, uh... Quickly, uh, cool. Cool. Sorry, I can I can hear again now. But yeah, no, like it's like always fucking three. It's always like the the, the fucking at three a.m. videos. And like, don't get me wrong. Although that's always been a thing, I feel like now it's become a YouTube trend. I now don't trust so much when people like show you it's three a.m. I feel like if someone shows you it's 3 a.m. in their like creepy video, it's probably staged because it's just gonna play into the don't shit your pants at 3 a.m. type trends, you know? Okay. Porque en estos últimos días nadie ha podido dormir aquí. Como podrán ver, el cuarto está totalmente solo y pues nadie duerme aquí. Solo estamos nosotros. Mi hermana dice que se escuchan cosas, pero Okay. Ay, 
Me asusté. Pero no sé. Pues no se oye nada. No sabe. ¡Ah! Oh, there it is. It kicked off. They did a run. They ran out of there. Stop showing me the fucking dogs, bro. Levántate. Levántate porque ya. Le pegaron la puerta. No sé qué pasó. Vinimos a yo. Se escuchó la puerta. Se escuchó la puerta. Okay. Mira. All the drawers are. Miri no estaba así. Is it all the drawers or just like? Todos oh, los cajones están wow, abiertos. Wow, all the drawers. Okay, that's. It's, I mean, you didn't catch it on camera, so someone could have just ran in here and like done it, but you know, whatever. Creepy if, if creepy if true, creepy if true. All of a sudden, the bedroom cabinets are open. It's almost as though someone had ransacked the room before dis- Someone said there's a child under the bed. Wait, let's have a look. Levántate. I didn't spot that. Levántate porque ya. Le pegaron la puerta. No sé qué pasó. Because if I see a kid under the bed, then I'm almost certain that like the kid crawled out, opened them all, and then Vinimos hit again. Se escuchó la puerta. Se escuchó la puerta. Mira, acabamos de venir y no estaba así. Okay. Todos los cajones están abiertos. Oh, well, I didn't see a kid. All of a sudden, the bedroom cabinets are open. It's almost as though someone had ransacked the room before disappearing from sight. But the family knows it wasn't a person who did this, but rather something else. They continue to look around in confusion, trying to see if anything else had happened. When out of nowhere, this happens. La niña está dormida. Estamos solos. No sabemos qué fue lo que pudo haber pasado. Mi esposo anda viendo. ¿Qué fue eso? It's just a lot of noises. Yeah, the, I mean the paint. We trying to show me the paint job of the wall. It ain't great. Like, yeah, I agree. It could have been. It could have been better. You know, it's not a very smooth job. There's some. There's some texture added there from slightly poor paint. Paint work. Possibly could have done with a better decorator, but you know. No, no. Just what exactly had caused the noise in the bathroom? Like with most occurrences, the family can't seem to explain it. Mm. But surprisingly, it was thereafter that the occurrences stopped. It would seem oh. that the family no longer experiences anything unusual. Oh, but good. But then one right. night, oh, the following mind. takes place. The family is woken up by a shuffling noise coming from the same bedroom where the cabinets had been opened. They immediately begin to record when the following happens. What? What? What happens? Where's your phone? You're filming on it, my dear! Poor kids, leave them asleep, man. On a date, but can't stop that Jack Manifold grind. Yo, what's the with your date, man? If you just open the Jack Manifold stream while on the date, I think luck is what you need. Best of luck. Oh, 
A angel numbers, but angels like the devil. Nothing's happened so far but noises. Wait, it's a breeze! A summer's breeze! There's nothing scarier than a breeze taking away from the heat in your home. In this cost of living crisis, the heat's all we have. Don't breathe into the microphone, please. Do your heavy breathing elsewhere. Somehow, there was no trim scare on its own. Now, some think that a light breeze had made it move, which could. <laughs> Bro did not need to use the adjective light. Bro really downplayed that whole video. These two poor, terrified girls by going, Some people think it could be a light breeze, but others think it could be an evil demon. So, yeah. Fucking light breeze. Like, the fact that he used light to describe it really. It could be the case. But it still doesn't explain the strange banging noise that is heard, or why the dogs were barking non-stop. Maybe it is the then case dogs that somebody was messing now. with them. But other previous incidents make the family think otherwise. So then, just what exactly is going on inside this home? Like with most videos, there has yet to be a definitive answer to this question. Obviously, how do you fucking answer it? This next video was shot by someone who, in the footage, seems to be taking in the view of the river before them. All appears Lovely. to be normal Very nice. until Beautiful the camera shots. catches something from a distance. Upon zooming in, it becomes apparent that whatever was caught on camera had most likely ruined the mood of the person recording. Now there isn't oh. that much info on the clip, but it still nonetheless speaks for itself. This is what was captured. I can hardly fucking tell! Like, fucking 240p video. Oh, that was weird. That was a weird little moment. That was a weird moment. It could also just be like a rock making the water like form around it and therefore the white foamy part of the water just like isn't, you know, like. Yeah, I'll be honest. I, I think it's, I think it's just the water to be honest. It's, it's a weird, it is a bit weird looking, but realistically, no.
Literally a rock, not even Dwayne Johnson. Not too far from the camera, there appears to be someone or something bathing in the roaring rapids of the river. <laughs> After being splashed bathing. by countless river waves, the figure all of a sudden vanishes. It's as though the waves had washed away the shadowy form, but then suddenly, it comes back for a split second before being taken away by the river. Yeah, I would say then it's just vanishes. the water. If it happened twice as well, I think it's just the water. <laughs> the most normal water movement ever. Literally, it's like fucking... The most credible ghost accusation video. It's as though the waves had washed away the shadowy form. Let's just watch that again. But then suddenly... It comes back for a split second before being taken yeah, away. Yeah, it like the moves river. the exact same the second time around as well. It probably it's just the fucking water. Now, even if we don't know what the person behind the camera is saying, we can hear it in their voice how baffled they are by the strange figure in the distance. I really don't think they are. They're just kind of shouting throughout the video. Like, I don't think they shout more once they like listen. Play it somewhere, thank you for the nine Less months. I'm not sure if they're actually reacting to that or not, to be honest. Now, even if we has yet to be known, but I'll leave it to you to decide as to whether or not it's something paranormal. Yeah, I think that is just the water, man, I'll be honest. A mountain climber from Mexico shares a chilling photo. But before he does share those things, guys, did you know? Did you know that it is in fact The top of the hour? People, people, people. Here on the Jack Manifold TV stream, we have to make ends meet. And now, that is easier said than done. So, to help support me, I run one minute, one singular minute worth of advertisements at the top of the hour, every hour on the stream. Now, I know no one likes watching ads, but one minute worth of ad watching, you can go... Take a pee, drink some water, eat a snack in the time they play. I don't care if you actually watch them, but as long as you leave the stream open, you're directly supporting me. And of course, if you really hate ads, you can always subscribe for the low, low price of $4.99, or you can click the subscribe option right now and see if you have the free prime option to miss all the ads for 30 days. It pays my bills, and I greatly appreciate it. So, I'm gonna run the ad. If you do wanna miss this, then please do sub right now beforehand or you will miss out. If you're broke, do not worry. The ads will take no more of your time. And you know what? It's an excuse to grind. Use this as motivation to earn an extra $4.99 a month to spend on this stream. If you manage to find yourself the pay rise, you know where you got the motivation from. It's from all the ad watching you, you did. Either way. Thank you for all the subs that came through. Appreciate it. Exodus Milk uh, and looking down on you. Appreciate it. I'm gonna run the ads now and then we'll, uh, you know, we'll get right back to the creepy videos. Ads are running. Hello, subs. How are we all doing? How are we all doing? Manny pyramid scheme? No, I, it's not a pyramid scheme because I'm not giving you anything. Subbing isn't four dollars. No, it's four ninety nine dollars. It's it's um it's four ninety nine dollars. Uh, three ninety nine Great British pounds. I, I think if you're on an iPhone, it's slightly more expensive because Apple charge a small commission on it. But you know, hey ho. I'm loving the stream. I'm glad. I want to do more of these. Especially once we've finished watching Marble Hornets, we're going to lean into this a little bit more heavily. But uh, since we're still actively watching Marble Hornets, uh, we're going to finish that before we do much more of this. I'm going to finish watching Marble Hornets sometime within the next week um, amongst all my regular streams. So do keep an eye out. Wait, Apple charges me? I might be wrong, but I swear like it, on an iPhone device, it adds a little bit more money. Six more seconds, then people are back from ads. I'm almost done. I'm happy for you. And the ads are over. Welcome back. Thank you so much for sticking around and watching them. I really do appreciate it. I won't make you wait any longer. Let me get the... Turn that music off. It's gone. Let's play the next bit of the scary compilation. Photo from his trip to the... 
as well. A mountain climber from Mexico shares a chilling photo from his trip to the mountains. Uh huh. It was during a podcast that Jesus Olivares shared the image and recounted the story behind it. Doubtless, the picture is pretty creepy to say the least. Okay. In 2009, Olivares and a group of friends had traveled to one of the highest mountains in Mexico. The mountain is known as mm -hmm. Pico de Orizaba, which has an elevation so high above sea level that it's nearly impossible to climb without oh. an oxygen supply. Oh, cool. Many believe that the mountain is uninhabitable for this reason, and therefore lacks civilization. However, okay. many climbers have reported seeing silhouettes of people and other strange shadow-like figures when going up the mountain. Oh, why is Mexico so climbing. haunted? I didn't know this about Mexico. Like, I knew the bedrooms sometimes look creepy, but I never once have ever been like, Mexico is frequently, like, haunted. But it seems like it is. Ollie likes bees. Thank you for the prime. Appreciate it. La Llorona? Yeah, that's like one story of haunting. Chupacabra? I don't really know much about that one, but I know like La Llorona, but like, you know. What do you mean? Also, welcome everyone coming from Tobo's stream. I don't know if Tobo is doing a full raid or whether people are just coming over. Either way, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Oh, there it is. There's the Tobo raid. Tobo raiders, welcome, welcome, welcome. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to the stream, guys. Today, you'll never guess what. We are watching, we are watching. Uh, the creepiest ghost videos we can find on YouTube. I've been watching a few of them. I'm really into my horror stuff, and I found that I really do like these creepy what ghost videos. What are saying, Jackie boy? Not very much. I'm just saying what the stream is. Rudders. Thank you for the five months. Also, Lace Mouth, thank you for the tier one as well. Really, really do appreciate it. Uh, if you are new, feel free to follow. I'm watching plenty of horror stuff at the minute. I'm in my horror era. I'm really enjoying it. Um, but yeah, we're, we're talking about how Mexico seems to be a really haunted place. There's just been so much from Mexico so far. And it just generally can look quite creepy at times. But either way, welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, let's Hello, get bald straight man. back on with 11 watching months creepiness. Manifold Pog. Thank you for the 11 months. Appreciate it so much, meme speebs. Thank you for all the subs today. Really does mean a lot. Either way, let's get back on with watching There's creepy area. Mexico. Many believe Basically, a guy went up a mountain in Mexico that should be uninhabitable because the oxygen, oxygon supply really low. And he saw, uh, he reckoned he saw some figures. This might have been the spirits of deceased individuals who tragically died during their climb. Ah, right, okay, yeah, that makes sense. Now, Olivares admits to having seen things he couldn't explain. Perhaps this might have been the altitude sickness kicking in. As well, yeah, that's what I'm guessing, because everyone's like, they see shit, but I'm like, if you're up at a level without oxygen, your brain's going to be slightly oxygen starved, and you might just be getting, like, uh, altitude sickness. I don't trust, I saw shadowy figures up in the mountains. Same reason I don't trust, like, Yeti stories and shit. It's like, if you're really high up and without, like, like oxygen, yes, you're probably gonna see weird things. Low levels of oxygen I'm skeptical on this. to hallucinate. But Olivar is certain that what he saw wasn't him just seeing things, but in fact, something real. And to prove it, he has a photo. In a podcast... Oh, Olivar yeah, I forgot he has a... They, they open it by saying he has a picture. You can't hallucinate the pictures. have seen shadows and heard distant voices while he and his friends ascended the mountain. These occurrences would come and go, but eventually stop at a certain point. They would continue climbing, feeling less spooked, before later stopping to take photos. Now lots were taken, but one in particular yeah, well, would catch people's attention. Bro climbed up one of the biggest mountains in Mexico. Actually, the biggest. But he passed yeah. leave it too well. After the trip was over, Olivares posted the pics on his social media and called it a day. But then... The day after, a strange comment was made below one of his photos, which read, Nice pick, but who's the kid in the background? Ooh. Confused by the comment, Olivares, in response, asked, What kid? To which they replied, The kid in the corner, who is that? Olivares takes a closer look at the photo. Bro said what kid? Hey, that kid, kid stuck out like a, a sore corner. thumb. Who is that? Olivares takes a closer look at the photo. That isn't even a, like a creepy kid though. That's just like a like a normal looking kid. He is like like you remember the last one we saw of like a weird kid in the corner of an image. He was like slightly gray and weird looking. That's just like a little boy. That's just a little boy. He's just peeking. He looks like he's having fun. Maybe a little boy was just like nearby. I don't fucking know. He immediately got goosebumps. Olivares no. assures us that he and his friends, all adults, were the only ones present at the site. Initially thinking that it was just a rock, he shrugged it off as a case of pareidolia. 
initially thinking it was just a rock. Bro, that is a little boy. How is that a rock? Explain to me that being a rock. All of our assertion, there is clearly a child's face. It doesn't make any sense that someone, let alone a child, would be this high up in the mountain by themselves. Only explanation he can think of is that this was a paranormal incident. But of course, it is solely a theory among many others. A the game theory. theory. Thanks the for watching. Haunt him to this day, even though it was taken back in 2009, and the lack of an explanation reassures him that something paranormal occurred. It is weird. It is but weird. As always, what do you think? Did Olivares capture something paranormal? Or might there be a rational explanation for this? Feel free to let me know. Goofy R stock photo. Oh yeah, actually, yeah, let's look up little boy. If you just Google like young boy, what shows up? Like I wonder like what stock images are like show up. Oh, it's just fucking NBA young boy. All right, uh, we'll look up little boy then, cause fucking I don't just fucking pictures of NBA young boy. Fuck off. Uh, I'm trying to find a kid that looks like the kid. Why? Okay, I can't find it. I can't find it. No! Oh shit, okay, don't worry, I'm char I've got a battery on charge. Don't worry, I've, got I've been charging a battery. Chat, don't worry, it is not a ghost. The stream has not been haunted. I just... The battery is low on charge. Do not worry, I have a charged one to hand. It's fine. Everything is okay. I'm going to very calmly change the battery in the camera. Ah! It's back on. Did I zoom it in a bit? I think I might have zoomed it in when I was holding it. Ugh. I'm back. Sorry, I don't have a, I, I left my dummy battery for this camera at my parents, uh, and I need to buy a new one and I've, I've forgotten. Um, I apologize. Well, let's carry on watching the uh, thing. I must admit, there's no stock images that look like, like, like the kid in the corner. Big ass salt rock, there is a big ass salt rock. In fact, it's a salt lamp. Maybe if I put it on the lighting of the room, it'll be a bit nicer. Hold on. Yeah. Oh, that is a bit, that is nice. I like that. I like that actually. Yeah, we're sticking with that. I like that. Lick the salt. I've done this so many times on stream. Watch. Okay, you ready? You ready for this? Can you see? It tastes like salt. It's it's salt. What do you think? It it's just salty. A big rock of salt is gonna taste salty. Weirdos. Okay. I know what you think, Oh, wait, sorry. I'm... Below. If you caught something creepy. I just got a text from Eleanor saying, stop lipsing my lamp. Guys, I can't lick the lamp anymore. I've been told off. I'm in told off. I'm in trouble now. I'm sorry, guys. My bad. I'm not allowed to do that anymore. Wait, hold on. Eleanor Neil from YouTube! Can I have some water, please? I can't bother to go get my own. <laughs> I don't want to go get my own. Bite it. I don't think it's, it can go in my... I don't think it can 
go in my. I, I don't think he's. I, I'm allowed to put it in my. Tomo, bite it then isn't an option. I'll, I think. I think it falls under the text. Stop lips in my lamp. I think. Put. It, I think it going near my mouth again. Oh yeah, yeah. It's it's because I'm watching scary things. Thank you. No, yeah, you've given me like the smallest <laughs> dribble of water. Look at this. Look at oh, Eleanor Neal, can I have some water? And she's giving me like like the uh, like a shot of water. Don't worry, I'll just hydrate myself in one fail. What, what's this? Look at the glass as well. It's got a little apple. It's not Christmas no more. It is in my hand. No, it isn't. You took all the Christmas decorations well, give down. Give it back. Let me fill it up more. Cheers. Thank you. Can you believe the cheek? Can you believe the cheek to fill the glass up, not even full? ...on camera, or if there's any ghost videos you'd like me to check out and include in the next compilation, you can send them over to scaryvideos444 at gmail.com. I love that email. Every so often I think that my screen is frozen, but it's just you being weirdly still. Being what said, can I say, man? Let's get back I'm to a the still video. guy. Now, this last video was submitted by Aaron Tips. Oh, this one's the one that looks scary. Also... Guys, guys, I'm trying to get good at ventriloquism. I want to, I want to be able to do ven ventriloquism. It's harder than it looks. I'm, I'm not terrible, but I'm not great at it either. But at the time, I think I could become better. What do you think, guys? Guys. Who's talk go guys, who's talking right now? Holy shit, guys. Holy shit, guys, who's talking right now? Who's doing this? It's not the streamer, his lips aren't moving. That's crazy. That's crazy, guys. Oh, hello, it's me. This is what he's Guys, guys, who could be talking right now? The streamer isn't talking. Oh my god, guys! Is he being haunted right now? Sorry, I'm doing ventriloquism. <laughs> what? What's this? Oh, I... Well, we're watching ghost videos, so I just kind of claimed it was a disembodied... I mean, there was a disembodied voice for a second in, in your house. That's yeah. the worst part. Your house is haunted now. I see. That's terrible. I appreciate how much effort I've put into Oh, no, it, yeah, so. you really have sent this, actually. You've put, you've put ice in it and a straw. Oh, no. And full to the top, nearly. It, it nearly. Yeah, near enough that you were. Didn't realise it was. We were running. Didn't realise there was a shortage in the tap. But uh, yeah, it's fine. I know we're in London. The tap water will kill you. Yeah, you'll get cholera. You will get Jack cholera. Jack, OMG! There is someone Thank nine you. inches your room talking. It's not you, of course. What? Guys, wait. There's someone who isn't me talking. That's not okay. Guys, I think I've been haunted because I've been watching all these scary videos, guys. Now, be for real right now, because that's scary, bro. I need a... Uh... No, where's the... No, and... What's the... Uh, uh... There's a noise. No. No. What? Come on. It's really... I can't think of the movie. The, oh, is it Inception noise? Which movie has the meme that... No, that's definitely not it. Inception noise. It's Inception. Guys! There's a disembodied voice in this house, and I think it might be haunted. Inception noise. There we go. Behind you! No. Too soon. You jumped the gun. Ah! Lapras! From Pokemon. Save yourself, I did.
Either way. Let's watch this creepy video now. Come on, we've really- We're making the tone too silly! Alright, there's too much whimsy going on right now. Please! This video is scary. There's a gaming setup. They sleep in the same room as their gaming setup. That's terrifying. I could never do- Hello? Hello? That one was weird. That was... That one was a weird moment. That was a weird little ghost moment. Ugh. Wasn't that strange? Alright, anyway, let's carry on. It's that a friend of his had sent him a creepy video. In it, Aaron's friend can be seen sleeping inside their bedroom when something downright terrifying is captured. It's close I love whenever he just mentions cameras, he- HELLO?! What the fuck? To midnight, when the following happens, this is what was caught. I can't even open my mouth that fucking wide. That's that's fucked. That's actually creepy. That's a, like a genuinely this creepy one. Caught. The weird twitching and then just a sip. And then shooting straight back down like that. That's what fucking way to induce insomnia than by watching a video like this. That's Worth fucking scary, bro. The same video can be found on TikTok. <laughs> Sleep streams be like a spat everywhere. All right, please don't tell Eleanor. I'll spat all over her shit. Um, yeah, uh, that's fucking scary. I have this. I actually want to do a sleep stream at some point. I've got a funny idea for it. Now that's put me off. What if I end up? What if I do that shit in my sleep? However, the context given for that video is different from the one that was sent to me. Aaron states that his friend has no recollection of ever doing this in their sleep, whereas the one on TikTok states that they were fully conscious when they did this. Whether conscious or not, the imagery of this video is still nonetheless pretty disturbing. I'd imagine Real that this is edited, but it's fucking creepy. Like, it's a creepy looking video. Not this she ate a burger. <laughs> this is what eating meat does to people! Be vegan! Tear is a great source of nightmare fuel. It's definitely Thanks creepy. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. That was creepy. That was a good one. I really- that was a good one. Scary Comp 62. It was, there was some good shit in there. Actually, no, there was- generally, actually, there really wasn't. Like, to this. this- this was pretty, like, eh. This- this one was- the one in Mexico, I really, like- there was just some weird noises. Yeah, actually, this one was mostly shit, but that- that last one was interesting. Uh... Oh, we watched that one. These two look really similar, almost too similar. But I, I, I'm, but for that reason, I'm watching it. Let's give this one a watch. A dog owner is alone at home. What is happening with the camera? The fuck? When something extremely creepy. Is she had a goofy ah uh, yawn. Yeah, she was just real sleepy. She was about to go. She like did a big yawn and then went. <gasps> that she was just cartoon sleeping. She went. You know, that's what happened. Amra, YouTuber Hoopla It's the salt lamp. I think it might be the salt who lamp. Who had recently fair. posted a video on their channel that, at first, seems to be about someone who broke inside their house. It comes off as one of those home intruder caught on camera types of vids. But as the video continues, it becomes apparent that something else is happening. Hoopla 22, the dog owner in question. Hoopla. Bro's name is Poopla. Poopla22. Right. Thought my buddy Derek was pulling a prank on me, as he always does. So I decided to record this video to catch him in the act. I was on the toilet when it started. He was, shit. was barking like crazy, which made me think he was in the house. I was so wrong. Nala and I are staying at my parents for now. She is okay, 
but her little trembles have not Aww. gone away since that night. That's, that's sad. It's because of this incident that Hoopla's dog hasn't been the same. This is what was captured. Nala! 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 Oh, bless. Oh, no. Oh, poor baby. Bro did not even wipe his ass! Wipe your ass, brother! Wash your hands! Brother did not even wipe his ass. Wait, that, that's the most scary thing about this video. The fucking shit stains that are gonna be in his underwear. Come on. It's definitely unnerving. I'm on edge. Nala, come on out. Nala, come on out, seriously. Derek? Is the door open or something? I don't What am I saying? What am I saying? Nala, where'd you go, princess? Seeing fucking nothing but pixels, bro. Turn on a light, my brother. The iPhone has a torch. Why would you just rummage in the pitch black? Okay. Who do I love? Who do I love? Who do oh. Poor dog. Right, go wipe your ass now, bro. You've dealt with the situation at hand. Wipe your stinky ass. Wipe your stinky, stinky bottom. You got that Derek? booty stank right now. Derek, that you? Oh. Where's this dog, by the way? Does this dog even exist? Bro says to the dog, no, we're leaving, let's go. As if the dog's gonna go, I am with you, bro. Like, what would you think? Pick the dog up, it sounds like a small dog. Why is bro like shouting at the dog like it's holding him up? No, like, come on, pack your things, we gotta go. No, we gotta go, pack your things. It's a dog. It's a fucking silly moment. Yeah, this shit feels like acting. I, I don't know, I don't believe it. This doesn't feel right. So why have I not seen this dog once? To his surprise, Hoopla finds Nala hiding inside the room, terrified of something. He then hears a noise in the kitchen and begins to panic, perhaps thinking that someone other than his friend Derek broke into his house. He quickly walks over to Nala with a sense of urgency, asking her to get up and leave with him. But 
I fucking love it. Asking her to get up and leave with him at the dog zoo. You go, nah, I'm good, bro. Like, like, you know, take care of yourself. I'm gonna stay here. Fucking interesting. In Once I saw Hello? a little gremlin thing in my room, and it told me to stay cool as a cucumber and as warm as a tendon, and I just thought that was beautiful. Reminded me of you. Some often say I remind them of gremlins because we share like um, we share common nature. Then all of a sudden. <laughs> Also, like, even the title of this, Dog Owner is Alone, just sounds like he's fucking lonely, to be honest. I'm, I'm sorry. So, I don't, yeah, I don't know what warm as a tendon means either. I'm, I'm thinking not to question it. Then the bedroom door closes on its own. That's weird. It was at this but it's point not... that he realized that it wasn't someone who was inside his house, but rather something. Ever since that night, Hoopla and his dog have been staying at his parents'. Hoopla is certain that whatever occurred that night had to be something paranormal. I'll be honest, though, like, if this guy's a YouTuber, like, I, 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 I begin to doubt it a bit, because, like, hey, shit might go viral, right? You know? Like, I don't know. But as always, what do you I think? I don't know, Poopla. Could this be the case? Was something haunting poor Nala and her owner, Hoopla? I mean, I don't know. Maybe I'm being critical. I am critical of these things, but this one hasn't done anything that convinces me, you know? Or Ambro has booty the logical sank. explanation. The ghost is just telling him to wipe. That's why it's causing him all these ha all this hassle. He's like, bro, wipe your ass. Before <laughs> he's like, oh, now nah, we're leaving, and he's like, a oh, shit between his fucking cheeks. Yes. As with all videos, you be the judge. What exactly had occurred that night? Butt crack is crusty now. Yeah, that's what he should be scared of. The shit fucking fusing his ass cheeks together, you know? When it dries. It, uh, it's gross, but really, Poopla, yeah, they really call them Poopla for a reason. Like, yeah, that should be his real fear, no ghost. Dirty, stinky, horrible shit. He didn't flush. No, he didn't. That's the best part. He didn't flush, he didn't wipe, he didn't wash his hands. Big Potato, who states that one of his friends had caught something really creepy on camera. The video itself is pretty old, as it wasn't until years Filmed on the Motorola?! Bro, no wonder you saw a ghost, you probably saw three pixels. It's anyone's fucking guess what you saw. Everything on these things is inexplicable because you can't tell what it even is. Look at this fucking video quality. Reddit user Baked Potato. I gotta tell you what that was. ...had caught something really creepy on camera. The video itself is pretty old, as it wasn't until years later that the friend had found the footage on their old cell phone. It was after watching the video that they noticed something very strange was captured. This video was taken during a tour of the infamous Limp Mansion, which is located in St. Louis, Missouri. Oh wait, I've been there! That's where, um... Uh, we, I've been to St. Louis, Missouri. I imagine that is a haunted place, because it's the murder capital of the United States. It has the the highest like murder rate of anywhere in the United States, and you know what? You, you want to know the best part? It has the ninth highest murder rate in the world, and the whole world. You know, there's actively wars going on in the world, and St. Louis is the ninth highest murder rate. It's, and I, I, I chilled there for a week, and you know what? I honestly really enjoyed my time. The food was great. I gotta say, it, it's like one of those places that tourists don't generally go in the U U.S. I feel like it gave me a really good sense of like y y the classic United States. No, none of those touristy places. And honestly, the food was good. I ate fried alligator, fried Louisiana alligator. It was real good. I had some barbecue, real good. Uh, the, I had the best ice cream I've ever fucking had. Uh, I, I, like, I was told not to walk around at night, uh, but I did have a walk to an ice cream parlor, and honestly, I was, sadly, uh, I had the behavior affirmed to be good, because I had really good ice cream. I had a red velvet cone. I love red velvet. I know it just tastes of chocolate, but it's bright red, and that makes my eyes go. So, uh, when I saw this bright red cone, I was like, basically, I fuck with St. Louis, but I never went here. I never visited this. Now, if there's one thing you should know about this place, it's that the mansion- I went to, uh, Preston- Preston Manor in Brighton. Um... I've been, that, that's the only haunted place I've ever been. And it's said to be haunted. Off. It's believed that the Limp family, who once lived here, and all died a tragic death, still reside within the mansion. 
their ghost, is thought to be responsible for the strange occurrences that many guests encounter. Mm. Although it's been turned into a boarding house, the place offers haunted tours, which is what the friend was in during this video. Little did they know that while filming, something pretty creepy would be captured. What? This is what they caught. Okay. Let's see if I can make any fucking sense of it. What am I supposed to have seen? As the camera pans across one of the rooms inside the mansion, a shadowy figure can be seen standing in place before immediately disappearing. It is only there for a split- Oh, you know what? You know what? I'll give it. That's actually weird. Uh, I, I, I was laughing at the three pixels, but you know what? Pixels being there and then not. In a somewhat human form, it wasn't just a blur either. That's kind of... Uh, this is one of the most convincing ones we've seen in a little bit, Wait I'll give it that. Before. And it's on the original phone as well, so I doubt it's been edited Vanishing either. Of the rooms inside the mansion, a shadowy this would be really hard to edit. ...can yeah. be seen standing in place before... That is weird. ...immediately disappearing. It is that is weird. Michael Jackson. Why is everyone saying Michael Jackson? What? Is only there for a split second before it's Mr. White. He is wearing the Heisenberg hat. I'll give it vanishing that. from sight. Now, what's even more baffling about this is that earlier in the footage, we can see that the space where the figure was seen is empty. There appears to be nothing in the area that could have made it seem as though a person were standing in place. So then, if nothing had been there, who or what was this? That is weird. That is Many weird. Many viewers have asked the same question. And still, no one knows exactly what was captured. However, given how quickly the figure disappears, as well as the history of this place, some believe that this may have been one of the Lim family members caught on camera. That is this weird. whole video is still a mystery, as not much else is known about the clip. But until more info is- Jesse! Jesse, we need to haunt this building, Jesse! It's given. It's good. Also, everyone just hee heeing in chat. That's funny. Question remains. Was a ghost caught on camera? Or was something else captured? I think honestly, is the that that's the one that I found most convincing the whole time we've watched. The whole time, I think every single one of these we've ever watched. That and you know what? To be fair, to be fair, uh, the first channel video we ever watched from this channel. I've, I've just opened a new YouTube channel. Let me open the channel. Um, the first video we ever watched from this channel. Uh, don't this this doll. This doll was quite weird. Like, a lot of the shit with this doll was was odd. He right. James is away from home. Creepy happens two nights later inside the room. Out of James's bathroom comes out what appears to be a dark, shapeless figure. That was weird. And then the doll does moving like on the other nights. The doll moves on its own. It appears to move for just a few seconds before abruptly stopping. Feeling very but it this, the, might be best if you The doll is weird. This was really weird. But that's like the second most convincing story we've had, honestly, from this channel. Also, before we move on, someone donated five, uh, 500 bits, which I appreciate. But they said, I stayed at Brookdale Lodge in Santa Cruz. Um, Melter Rune said this, by the way. Uh, I stayed at Brookdale Lodge in Santa Cruz, and that kicked up my belief. So a pair of old leather business shoes are stole away from me in the lobby bathroom. I washed my hands. I realized that the entire time I didn't hear any movement. No heavy door closing or opening. No sink running. I looked over at the stall and saw it was slightly open. I kicked the door open, and there was no one there. Freaked me the fuck out. It is weird, but maybe the guy just got up quite quietly and didn't wash his hands. It definitely is weird, though. I'll give you that. Like, it's definitely, like, one of the... I, I've had, like, one ghost experience, and it's kind of a, to the same thing where, like, I, I, I am a bit creeped out by it, but equally, like, I know it could be pretty easily explained. Uh, like the Nala guy, yeah, exactly. Exactly, like that guy. But, um, no, the, um... The experience I had, I, was, I think I spoke about this on stream before, but I'll, I'll, I'll speak about it a bit more now. I was at, I've had two kind of like ghost experiences in my life. Uh, one of them, and, and one of the, the, the only one that really, really does get me um, is when 
I, I, I would say, I know, I, I know some people who are very into the paranormal and claim that they have this sort of sixth sense and they get what they call visitors and they see ghosts and the such and they have done their whole life. Uh, and I'm, I'm close enough with these people that I must admit, I, I know them very well and I don't think they're lying. But at the same time, I like also don't know whether it's evidence of ghosts. You know, I don't think they're lying about their experiences, but I don't necessarily know that that proves that ghosts exist. But they've had some weird experiences. Either way, uh, they were saying that, you know, it, it kind of runs in their family that people have this sort of gift. And I was basically saying that I think if I was someone with that gift, I would quite like to have a ghost communicate with me. So at least I just knew, just definitively, I knew that ghosts were real or not. Uh, or what, well, in that case, I know they were real, right? Uh... And I, I said that, right? Um, and then I went to bed, went to work the next day. The very next day, oh, during this conversation, by the way, tip bit, they told me that, um, they told me that uh, if a ghost was ever to communicate with, with you, they would speak to you in your, you would hear them in your left ear. That You would hear them in your left ear. They never come from the right. You'd always hear a ghost from the left. Don't know what that is. Apparently it's just a thing. Either way, I go to work the next day and um, I'm sat at work, uh, and I'm I'm just kind of te yeah, I'm just I'm just doing a little bit um a little bit of work uh, at my job, which I fucking did, and I just hear like a raspy sort of voice, right, just in my le it, directly in my left ear, like like you know like as if it was right next to me, just go, I'm sorry, and that was it, and I was just like, the fuck. And I was like, what the fuck? And I was like, that's weird. Now, I'm not also going to pretend, though, that... Uh, I mean, it put me on edge, because I'm like, why the fuck are you apologizing? You know what I mean? Like, what are you apologizing for? What's, what's about to happen? Uh, but either way, the... You know, um, it was a little bit weird, right? But there's two explanations. Uh, well, there's three explanations. One of which being it was a ghost. But the other two are my colleague, uh, my boss's office was on my left, like almost directly. Like the door was kind of in line with my left. And um, my colleague went to my boss's office and started talking to him about some stuff. And I could hear him talking. Uh, so maybe, he, like, he's a lovely guy, but, uh, he had his, like, he had his quirky little moments. Maybe he put on a little funny voice and said, I'm sorry to my boss for whatever reason. I don't know why I wasn't listening to the conversation. It's a sentence people say. Maybe he said that from afar and I just heard it on the left. But to me, it sounded too close and clear to be that far away. But, you know, potential. That or, what's the red dot on your camera? Yeah, I don't know what that is. I've noticed that as well. I don't know what that is. Shouldn't be there. I hope the lens hasn't been a bit scratched. That would piss me off. Whatever. Um, there's two. There's another one. Oh, there is. Yeah, there's one here as well. I'm hoping that's to do with the cam link and not to do with the uh, camera, but we'll, we'll we'll see. It might just need a clean. I, I could always just give it a clean. It's ghost orbs! Uh! No, um, uh, and the other explanation was, at this point, it was just after I'd started streaming, I was doing a full-time 9-to-5, and I went to uni. So I slept about 3-4 to four hours a night, which meant in the first thing in the morning at work, I'd be sat at my desk like this. I remember, like, literally, I, I once, I, I fell asleep with my eyes open. I, 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 I always wondered how people did that. Um, and I genuinely like fell asleep with my eyes open at that job. I, I, I got, I was like, when I first started streaming and I literally would sit at my desk and like struggle to keep my eyes open. Maybe I fell asleep. Like maybe I dreamt it. Like there is a chance that even though I thought I was awake, I kind of half fell asleep and I dreamt it. Could also be that. It would make sense because I was only talking about it the day before. You know what I mean? Also an option. So that, those are the two options, but it was weird. The, the other story is creepier, but m more easily explained. Uh, I was uh, just like, uh, I, me and Scott, when we lived together, lived in a very, very old house in Brighton. Uh, and it, it did, it was a really nice house, but it did have like kind of creepy vibes. Uh, it was very, it was, it was very old. And, and, and one night, I don't know why, I was just having a moment and I really didn't want to sleep in my bedroom. I just didn't feel comfortable, I don't know why. So I decided I wanted to go, I went to sleep, I went down, I just, I don't know what it was, but 
Sometimes as a kid, I'd like sleeping downstairs on the sofa with a TV on. There was some comfort in being in the living room because like other people were like my parents probably in the kitchen eating their dinner and stuff. And I think I just kind of had this like weird childhood nostalgia like moment where I was like, I want to sleep on the sofa and like watch some TV and just go to bed. So I, I went, I don't know why, I just, I was like, I was home alone. Scott was in America, I think at the time, and I just wanted to be downstairs. I was like, fuck it. No, I'm not going to like disturb anyone. I'll, I'll go sleep downstairs. So I went downstairs, got comfy on the sofa, rested my weary head. Uh, I, I felt like I laid down for a few minutes and then right as I was like falling to sleep, which is why I, I doubt it, I just heard like what sounded like the laughter of two young girls who were essentially like, I like the Pokemon. It was as if they were stood over me and like they, they like giggled to each other. And I shot upright and I like looked and nothing was there. Uh, uh, and then I was, I was, I just was really jarred. I was like, nope, I'm going, I'm going back upstairs. Never mind. Fuck that. And I went, I went back to sleep upstairs. But um, I, that was really weird and creepy. And I think the thing that really got me about that was like, I don't know, just, uh, just how unnerved I'd felt. But, and also the fact that in the first place I felt uncomfortable and wanted to go downstairs. As if I, I felt like I wanted to get away from my room. So to then go downstairs and then have that happen is just a bit weird. But, it, yeah, it's, it's almost like I felt like I was being watched in the first place, which I, I wouldn't have told you at the time, but now I look back, it's like, it, you know, but at the same time, it, like, yeah, like, as if they followed me, that's what I'm saying. But at the same time, it did happen right as I was falling asleep, meaning I could have just started dreaming, you know? Like, I, I, like, I, I, I oftentimes... If someone tries to talk to me when I first wake up, I just chat shit. I like I I I I'm I'm like so useless when I first wake up. Like I, I like I my I, I I oftentimes like kind of like as I'm like kind of falling in and out of sleep, blend real life with dreams and get very confused. So it could also be that. So you know. Either way, let's uh let's uh. Let's watch some more scaries. They're, they're my scary stories. Let's watch some more. Mandy Boswick and her two children, Jonah and Johnny, live in a remote area somewhere in Massachusetts. It wasn't too long ago that Mandy and her family had moved into That's the new the, house. It's a nice little house. Like this that. one, unlike their previous home, is surrounded by plenty of wildlife. Like bears. That's sick. Bears are scary, but that's still kind of sick. That's really cool. Oh, look at them. For this reason, Mandy had set up cameras around her home to capture all the wild animals that trespass on her property. From bears to bobcats, Mandy has seen it all. However, out of all the footage captured- Bears are like one, really cute animals, aren't they? But like, I'm very aware they could tear my fucking face off, but like, they look cuddly. Mandy has seen it all. However, out of all the footage captured, one has left her on That's edge. Weird. This one doesn't capture an animal, but rather something else. On July 17 of 2022, at around 9 p.m., Mandy is away from home when she gets a notification of movement detected on her property. She immediately looks at her camera's live feed via her phone and is left completely disturbed. This is what she saw. Thanks for the gift subs. That was not the time to donate. I was a bit on edge watching the little figure. Oh, it sounds like it's breathing. That's weird. That's odd. It's definitely odd. Someone, said, uh, someone donated real quick and said, Bro, I had something like that. I was nearly asleep when I was seven and felt a hand on my back. I couldn't sleep on my back again until I was a 13-year-old. Had it happen again a few months ago, but stroking my head instead. Thought it might be a mouse, but still, scary. That is scary. I couldn't sleep with my back exposed to the wall because I just had this innate fear that I'd be stabbed in the back in my sleep. Like, I couldn't have my back facing... A certain way when I was a kid. Don't know why. That's weird, though. That video was weird. 
trying to think what else I... I've heard my name shouted when I was a kid once. I thought I heard someone shout Jack, but, you know. The problem is, right, I, I, I know full well that I have Alice in Wonderland Syndrome. And, and it generally is triggered as I'm falling asleep. And from what I know, that generally consists of, like, size and scale-based hallucinations. But I don't know whether sort of, like, auditory hallucinations could kind of be thrown in with that. Um, so, what's that? Oh, uh, this is fun. I, I actually quite like... It, 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 it's a really cool little thing, but it, it, it's not actually particularly pleasant to experience. 18 months. Alice in Wonderland Syndrome is a thing that some people... It's, it's, it's relatively common, especially in children. A lot of people, when I explain it, will they go, Oh, I had that as a kid. Um, and a lot of people generally grow out of it. But I, I have grown out of it mostly, but I still get it every other week or so. Like, um... What happens is, it's, um, like, as you're falling asleep, generally, it can happen, it, the thing is, that's generally when it happens, so this is why not many people get diagnosed, because it's generally very uninterrupted. Uh, I, I mean, I'm not diagnosed with it, it's just that I, I've read what it is online, and there's nothing else that could possibly explain the feeling, you know what I mean? Felt a little goofy. Felt probably. a little goofy. Thank you, probably man. Probably gonna Appreciate get it, more Mark. subs. Seriously, it means a lot, man. Um, but either way. Yeah, so what it is, um, there's a clip of Alice in Wonderland Syndrome being simulated in a house if you ever want a visual ex explanation. That'd be really cool, actually. I might pull that up while we're talking about it. But um, essentially what Alice in Wonderland Syndrome is, is uh, for me specifically, it's kind of different, varying, but generally, it's people hallucinate in terms of their sense of scale. So things begin to seem really massive or really small. Um, uh or they can feel like they themselves are growing or shrinking or the room shrinking and they're... It's generally to do with sense of scale. Um, so th that's generally what it is. So what I get is when I'm falling asleep, I am... Um, my hands sometimes feel like they're fucking absolutely ginormous or my head feels really big or the pillow feels like it grew really large. Uh, I also get really freaked out. Uh, one time I... I accidentally imagined a crumb that was so... Like, I like to describe it as massively small. Like, it's so... It's so small. And... I, oh, it just freaks me out a bit. Like, this feeling makes me very uncomfortable and stuff. And it's just like, yeah. But some people get it... Um, like, infinitely small. Yeah, it's like... like, like it's very weird. That's quite the oxymoron. Yeah, but it, it, that's how it feels. It feels wrong, you know what I mean? But, um, yeah, I also, when I was younger, I used to get the feeling that the room was growing around me, but I haven't had that. Uh, nowadays, it's always to do with my body or my pillow, specifically. Like, anything I'm in contact with. Um, but, yeah, I it generally, a lot of people will have it. Like, a lot of people will know that feeling. It's, it, it, it's, it, they, they, so... The amount of people in the population that are diagnosed is really slim, but the amount of people that actually probably have it and aren't diagnosed is super high, they think. Uh, because since it's so, like, non-interruptive, generally, to life, people just kind of deal with it and eventually it'll pass and you'll fall asleep. I get those with migraines. Yes, most people who get it suffer with migraines and they generally go hand in hand. I actually don't get migraines, which is another fun fact. Migraines are completely genetic. You can either get them or you can't. Meaning that if you, if you're about my, like I'm 20, I haven't had one yet. I probably never will. I'm probably just genetically immune. Uh, it's, it's rarer to be immune than not, but, um, it's, it's, a, it's around 50-50 actually, but, uh, it's like 45-55, um, in, in the way of most people can actually get migraines, but 45% of people, like, I think this is the statistic, um, can't. Uh, let me look it up. What percent, no, percent of people can't. Get my guns. I think it's about 45. No. I don't know. If, this was a fun fact I saw one time. I can't really... I don't know if I'll be able to find. Um, oh, migraines inherited. Uh, oh, yeah. Genetics play a big role, role in migraines. It's often inherited in families. Um, yeah. I, I read once that more people do than don't, though. Feeling educated on the stream. I like fun little facts. You know me. I'm the fun little fact guy. I'm dropping viewers as I speak about my fun little facts, but I don't care. Sometimes 
A man just has to have a platform to vent his fun little facts, you know? Some guy, a guy just has to sometimes get some facts off his chest. I'm that guy. Simply. But, um, God, I have so many fucking wrinkles in my forehead. I'm a 20-year-old man. 20 years of age. Like Gordon fucking Ramsay. I'm literally, look at that. Look at that. Gordon fucking Ramsay. 20 years of age. Sorry, I, 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 like, the lighting is really bad for it, but I've just never, I like, looked at it, I was like, Christ almighty. Either way. Um, yeah, yeah, no, no, no but, um, but yeah, yeah, Alice in Wonderland Syndrome generally also uh, comes with migraines, but I don't get migraines, um, so that's interesting. But yeah, no, I've had it for years and years and years. Um, and it, it's, it's, it, it really sucks, but I, I have it really quite mildly where like, uh, I suppose like it's slightly less mild cause I still have it as an adult man, but like, um, uh, it's quite mild in the sense that like, it really isn't that bad. Like it, I, I, it, like I sometimes try and sleep through it, but I can't. I, so what I do is I open my eyes and once I open my eyes, it stops. It's like my brain goes like, it receives visual reference that everything is okay. And it's like. Sick. All right, I'm not actually really big. Um, and then it like, and then I close my eyes again. I probably start again. I just kind of go through that until it stops. But some people I read actually get real visual hallucinations. So like one guy I read about uh, sometimes said that like you know when you type on your iPhone's keyboard. Um, let me just like this is like so it like it when you type and the letters like go big. You see how like the letters big as I'm typing, like it pops up big. He, he said, like, he felt like the, the letters were like skyscrapers when he would press them. Like, they felt so astronomically large. Like, it felt like they were looming over him when he would type on his phone sometimes. Um, and, and that was, like, a very visual one. Oh, yeah, the Jeff the Killer image. Sorry, I, uh, that, that was from earlier on in the stream. Um, was, but, yeah, I thought that was really interesting. Uh, so some people get it really visually. And some people get it while they're not even trying to sleep, which is they're generally the people that get diagnosed because they're, like... I'm fucking crazy. I'm fucking crazy. Things, things, I'm walking around and then all of a sudden everyone around me becomes tiny little people and I'm scared of stepping on them. That's crazy. Uh, and, and that, that is generally, um, that's generally the sort of like, um, that's the people that get diagnosed because like then it actually is pretty interruptive to like your, your everyday life. This is the Jeff the Killer picture, by the way, I was uh, showing. I showed it earlier on stream. It's funny because it's just like a cute like anime girl, but like you squint your eyes and it's Jeff the Killer and I thought that was really funny. Hey suspicious really looking amusing. gentleman, would you ever stream Night in the Woods PLS Manifold Love 2? I've never heard of Night in the Woods, but maybe I would. Maybe I would stream A Night in the Woods. That could also be fun, you know? Anyway, let's keep watching this. There's a weird I figure. do love a wrinkly bald man myself. Thank you, I Put appreciate that. Put a dono that. in, don't there think you say it, curious on what you are doing in Eleanor Neal's office, cause I am a huge fan of her. Love you, Mr. Man. I steal her setup whenever I'm in London. It, it, it's somewhere to stream, you know? I need to stream, and when I'm in London, which I am frequently at the moment, I, I have, um... I have plans that I cannot share right now. But I do have plans to kind of show right now. So uh, I always steal her set up whenever I'm in London. Something standing a few feet away from Mandy's home. It stands there, seemingly observing her house from far away, as though trying its best to not get caught. But even more strange is the way it moves. There's something in its movement that's just very uncanny. Whoever, or whatever this is, has left Mandy concerned for the safety of her children. What if it is just a person? Nothing indicates to me that that isn't just a person in the dark. You know? That's what I don't really get. More so than the animals on her property. Given that Mandy lives in a secluded area with no one else around, viewers believe that someone or something is watching her. But like always, I'll let you decide as to whether or not something paranormal was captured. Like most videos, this one remains a mystery. Yeah, that one... Eh. Don't get me wrong. Fine. But like, it, it, there's other things you it could be. recall from a previous video about a woman named Lauren Combs who lives in a house in the middle of nowhere. Ever since oh, moving in. mad. We actually did watch this one. That's so weird because we, we just like skip through and pick anyone we find interesting. We have actually seen this one. However, to continue watching it, you'll never guess what. Guys... Shit, I got rid of the fucking... Shit, shit. 
Guys! To continue watching it, we are going to have to watch another ad first. That's right, people, I'm sorry to say it, but sadly, very, very sadly, I will have to run the second top of the hour ad. Now, I'm sorry, Turbo Raiders, this might not this might be new news to you, but here on the Jack Manifold TV stream, to support me because I desperately, desperately need it. Um, not because I've fallen off or anything, simply just because I want to. Um, I run a minute's worth of ads at the top of the hour. It genuinely really, like, you guys watching that ad really does support me. It really helps out a lot. Like, I, 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 I could show you the analytics breakdown, but I don't want to. But, like, uh, I, like the, the extra, like, revenue boost it gives me running, like, a minute's worth of ad every hour is seriously worthwhile. And it's, it's a minute of the time. We go straight back into the stream afterwards. And... Of course, there is always the option, if you don't want to watch them, you can subscribe for the low, low price of 4 99 or for free with Twitch Prime. If, if you would like to skip all the ads for the next 30 days, just like sub to Jack DDS. Great username, by the way. Thank you for the two months. If you guys want to click subscribe right now and just see whether you have the Prime option, since not using it on me is evil, because at the end of the day, you can't use it. You know, what are you gonna do with that? What are you gonna do with that free four ninety nine? Spend it on other things. You can't. You gotta use it on subs. Might as well use it on me. Either way, you might as well subscribe if you want to. However, if you are if you are one of the broke people in the chat, that's absolutely fine. Watch the ad one minute. Go pee in the meantime. You know, do something. Fill your time. It really just supports me. So it, it means a lot. You know. Either way. Either way. I'm gonna run the ad. One minute. We'll be straight back into the video. Yeah. <laughs> Opinion on Carl Jacobs, I love that guy. I also really like his merch. I think out of all, all of us, all those little, little YouTubers, I make the best merch. But Carl made the second best. And honestly, I think it's because we went for a similar vibe. But, um... I wear Carl Jacobs. You know what? I'd argue some of Carl's is... I'm part with mine even. The coats are really cool. I, I wear a lot of Carl Jacobs merch. Uh, it, it was actually Eleanor who commented whenever she says, Oh, I like what you're wearing. It's always Carl Jacobs merch. Every single time. It's kind of fucked up because it's never it's my merch. But it's always with Carl Jacobs merch. So, you know. But she also wears Mr. Beast merch like all the time. So, you know, I mean, hey, she's clearly a fan. It's kind of embarrassing. You know, she clearly likes it when Carl comes in and goes, Gazooie! Just saying, guys. She'll tell you it's not true. She's gonna burst in here any minute and go, That's not true, it's false! It's very false! She might burst in right now. Well. Wasted opportunity, Eleanor. Either way, let's carry on watching the uh, creepy videos. Welcome back from the ads, everybody. Let's carry on watching this. So, uh, the, just to explain for context with this one. In the very first video we watched from this channel, there was a lady who lived out in the middle of nowhere. And like her doorbell kept winning, r ringing weirdly and stuff. Uh, some books f flew off a shelf really inexplicably. It was one of the more convincing ones we've watched. It definitely was hard to explain, you know? It, it, it was weird. So uh, this is the same lady. She can't shake the feeling that something is haunting her. Lauren tries her best to ignore this feeling, but there have been countless instances of her dog Luna seeing things. What's such a creepy picture of a dog, bro? Also, it's slightly stretched. Spoilers, no, this is from the last episode. This is the additional stuff. That she can't, and many other strange occurrences that are thought to be paranormal in nature. What's it with the people living in the middle of nowhere? I suppose you would be more on edge when you hear noises. You know what I mean? I just heard someone's... 
Hello? Camera? What the fuck? I heard a noise. Did you guys hear that? Wait, hold on. Two seconds. Fuck. Eleanor insists it's not her, which is weird because I sw I swear to you, I heard someone say like, "Come help" or something like that. I'm not even taking the piss. Like I'm being like for completely for real. That was weird as fuck. Was it in the video? Things that she can't. And many other strange occurrences, countless instances of her dog Luna seeing things that she can't, and many other strange occurrences that are thought to be paranormal in nature. Hello? Although most of these incidents are pretty creepy, it's the most recent video that was captured that is by far the most unsettling. It's close to midnight. It wasn't in the video. The fuck? Someone said they heard it too. Like a couple of people have commented on the fact that they heard it. Uh, Eleanor said she does. She had her AirPods in, so I don't think anything played out loud either. It's really fucking weird. I did hear a woman talking. Yeah, we heard it. What the fuck? Wait, did someone clip? Did anyone clip that? Hold the fucking phone. That's weird as fuck. Hello. Wait, what the fuck? Wait, let me pull up the- Someone link, link, link the clip. It, it mods, someone like, get the clip for me. Oh, I fucking opened Discord, a picture of Jeff the Killer popped up, that's funny. That's weird as fuck! That was weird. The camera blurred right as it happened as well. That was fucking weird! What the fuck? Where's the clip? Cheapy oi, thank you for the tier one. Uh, how would I get to the clip? Oh, someone's linked it. Thank you, Freya. Right, hold on. I suppose you would be more on edge when you hear. What the fuck? Okay, hold on. It's like. Let me. I suppose you would be more on edge when you hear noises. You know what I mean? Yeah, you can! When you hear noises. You know what I mean? Hear noises. You know what I mean? What the fuck? What the fuck? Let me turn that shit up. When you hear noises, you know what I mean? What the fuck was that? You would be more on edge when you hear noises, you know what I mean? It sounds like it says I need your help to me. That's what I'm hearing. Edge when you hear noises, you know what I mean? Like, hi, I need your help with some shit? What the fuck? Hold on, I think. You want to listen to this? You actually want to listen to this? This is fucking weird. Wait. So it, it, I'm not just crazy. The whole chat heard it, right? We all heard this noise. Uh, the video was paused, right? Put these on. L listen to that. Right? You would be more on edge when you hear noises. You know what I mean? What the? F play it again. Play it again. Play it again. Oh my edge god! When you hear noises, you know what I mean? 
I don't like that at all. No, I don't either. But that's not me. No, I thought it was you at first, but then I, it's not. That's I, I was sat in there though. What other well, room you're is sat that coming like, from? All the way over there though. You're sat all the way at the back. That's, that's... a proper person voice, isn't it? That? Yeah, no, it's not just like a noise either. It's like a very audible sound. Or on edge when you hear noises. You know what I mean? I don't like it. What the fuck, right? That's really weird. It's just got me on edge because we've just been watching ghost videos the whole day. Uh, and then a fucking weird, creepy voice shows up. Don't summon him into my house. Okay, well, he's fucking here now, isn't it? That's terrifying. I'm not a fan either. Open a window. Ah, yeah, let him out. <laughs> Someone said open a window. Ah, does that one come open? Well, let's pop out. <laughs> Go on, off with your lass. Neighbours, you will not hear the neighbours in here. No oh, shot. No, no shot no, you hear neighbours. No, because the thing is, I didn't hear it. Yeah. Also, this is like, we're like, how, four, how many floors up are we? Really high. Enough. <laughs> Enough floors. We're really high up, <laughs> is the point. Like. I didn't, well, to be fair, I had my AirPods in. But d- I didn't hear anything. Yeah, but I. And nothing's going on in there. It's not like there's all. The ca- oh TV's yeah! Not on. Watch, let, watch again. Sorry, I haven't even shown you the full clip. Watch, put these on, right? Watch what happens. Watch what, watch what happens with the camera. You well. would be more on edge when you hear noises. You know what I mean? What the fuck was that? Yeah, because you moved your head. <laughs> I just heard someone's... Yeah, no, but it's been doing it every, like, five seconds the whole Hello? stream. Camera... Uh, what the fuck? I heard no, a noise. Well, not the whole stream, but, like, for a while. Did you hear like... that? To be fair, it's ever since I put the salt on, so maybe it's the change of light, but, like, it, it is a bit weird. I suppose you would be more on... Air. I don't like it. No, it's weird. Incense. Do you have any <laughs> incest in the house? Well, no, absolutely not. Oh, okay. I don't I know saying, why I didn't really, say no really quicker, like, Yeah, you really like avoided no. that. That's weird. I do have incense. Check outside, someone could be hurt. No, no, we're very, very high in the sky. You can't hear, like, people outside my house. No. There is no outside my house. We're really, really high up. So yeah. it's like, there's no one just out there. No, no, no. one walking about there. You can't hear anyone kicking about. Unless... Someone had figured out how to fly and was panicking. <laughs> yeah, they were like, flew past the window, like, help me, what the fuck's going on? <laughs> you know, like Superman, if it was a bit more realistic. Because if I started fucking flying, I'd be, I'd shit myself. <laughs> what? What are you like? What's this funny? Oh, the picture of my face. Rude, that. Don't want to see it no more. Anyway. Are you off? Yeah. But I'm a bit scared, though. All right, well... Best of luck tonight, you. <laughs> really fucking weird. Really weird. All right, well, fuck it. Let's finish the video at least. But really odd. I might tweet that clip out later. That's fucking creepy, bro. That's like actually like got me a little bit scared. So there you go. There's the there's my uh, you know how I said I had two ghost experiences. Turns out I got a third. Um, the only thing is, I'm gonna end up in one of these videos. Well, how meta is that? How fucking meta is that? Watching this guy's video and my clip show, I'm gonna send this to him. I'm gonna submit it to the, I'm gonna send him, you know, I'm sending him an email. I'm gonna, after this stream, I'm sending him an email of this clip to put in the next video. <laughs> Let's just get really fucking meta with it. <laughs> Weird as fuck though. When the following takes place inside Lauren's living room, Lauren writes, ignoring it is out of the question now. I'm just going to document- You know, I'm, I, you know what, I'm gonna say something because I, at the time I didn't say anything because I was like, no, I'm just being scared. Uh, like, sorry, that's a really rude way of saying that. I shouldn't have said that. Um, but um, I thought I was being paranoid um, because like, um, I felt like I, I thought I felt um, like, uh, I thought I felt the chair, like, it didn't spin by itself, but it felt like it tried to, and my legs kind of stopped it from moving. But it, to me, it felt like the chair tried to move just a bit. 
And at the time, I was like, you've just been watching a lot of ghost stuff and you're getting overactive imagination. But now that's happened, I'm like, I don't know. Uh, I mean, I, you know, it's probably nothing. But like, like now, now that like that's happened and we're all a bit freaked out, I'll mention that as well. Like, I, it, it, it was probably nothing in my brain just being overactive. But now that's happened, I'm a little bit more like, I don't like the fact that I felt that. Look, if there's a ghost here, you've sufficiently proved your point. I should stop being more, should stop being so skeptical. All right, you've proven your point. You're kicking about. You probably heard me say the thing earlier. Where I was like, I wish I could. That someone would speak to me. Please don't anymore. I, I said that in the spur of the moment. I, I actually regret it. Please do not communicate with me any further. Cheers, ghosts. Thank you very much. Uh, gonna get on with the video now. Got uh, some content to finish. Uh, you have a lovely rest of your day. In a bit. Bye bye. Right, anyway. Uh, sorted, bosh. Reach out to people that can help. This is her footage. Oh, I hate when I hear the dogs whimpering. What was that? No, weirdness. Yeah, doorbell again. Oh, there's two dogs. Right, I thought she only had one dog. I was like, what the fuck is that? She has two dogs, that would explain it. Oh god, she's ballsy. Storming out like that. Weird. Strangely, Lauren's dog begins. The, the doorbell doesn't convince me because there could be electrical faults that cause that to happen, albeit strange ones, but it could happen. Um, but the things that, so this is the second time like objects have flown around the room and that's weird. ...to whimper before an object falls on its own. Following this occurrence, a doorbell starts to go off on its own as the footage outside shows no one at the front door. Now, as many viewers have stated, opening the door may not have been a good idea as according to them, whatever was ringing the doorbell is now inside. Although it isn't sure if something was let in, the following incident seems to suggest otherwise. It's three in the morning when out of nowhere, this happens. Yeah, these ones are weird because I don't know how you would do it. Also at 3 a.m. Was the last one at 3 a.m.? When was the last one? Was that one? Oh, was it 11 p.m.? Is weird, isn't it? Like these ones I feel like are harder to, you know. All of a sudden, Lauren's hair is pulled by something. At first, Lauren thought that her cat had done this, but upon looking around, she noticed that her cat wasn't- Oh, oh, I thought, I honestly, I, I, before he said she noticed the cat wasn't there, I'm like, those are both dogs, bro. Those are dogs. Those those are both canines. But um, it, in fact, now how I have realized, um, oh, it's just the PC fans. Um, th th there isn't a cat. Yeah. Maybe laugh her. As you can imagine, she was left totally spooked. The activity in her home seems to be getting worse, and it seems that she isn't getting much help to solve this problem. But, of course, what are your thoughts? Is Lauren being haunted by something? Or is something else going on here? The, 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 her videos are weird. I, I, if hers... you caught something creepy on camera, or if there's any ghost- Oh, I have, brother! Out, yeah, no, I have, actually! Population, you can send them over to scaryvideos444 at gmail.com. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna get that straight over to you, bro. That being said, let's get back to the video. Jack getting paranoid, I am a little bit. 
a mother places a camera inside her child's bedroom and captures something pretty spooky. According to the mother, she had placed the camera inside her child's bedroom to see why her daughter would wake up every night around the same time. She would often hear strange noises inside her daughter's bedroom, and sometimes she would hear another voice as though someone else were inside the room. Oh, yeah, I forgot what the thumbnail the was. Inside, the fucking creepy, the like, possessed girl. What was happening in there. But, unbeknownst to her, the footage she captured would leave her slightly unsettled. In the video, her daughter suddenly wakes up and starts talking as though she were having a conversation with another person. Mind you, that this often happens late at night. This is what was captured. Mind you that- what? Why- why must I mind that? Most likely that she's like sleep talking or some weird shit, like she's like a weird sleepwalker. Like, you know? She could just be like a sleepwalker, so far. Like an advanced form of sleepwalking, you know? Happens. Barely. And then she stares kind of weirdly at the camera. I'll give you that. The mother thinks that her daughter might have been talking to a spirit. She believes that the spirit might have actually been her daughter's grandmother who recently passed away. She can't help but think this as her daughter talks to the supposed spirit like how she does with relatives. Considering that this usually happens late at night mm. and the fact that the camera moved at the start of the clip, the mother finds this Hardly, though. video to be paranormal. Although it's hard to be certain if that's the case, the video is nonetheless pretty strange. It's a who, nah. or even what, had the daughter been talking to? The camera doesn't move much. Not enough for me to think anything. Thanks for of it. watching, and I hope you enjoyed. I did enjoy. Until next time. Oh, I'll see you next time, King, because I got a video for you.